So talking about money is usually a taboo topic. And I think this does us more of a disservice than a service because I have learned some incredible money lessons from individuals that were willing to share their money situations. And I think more of us should be sharing our money situations. And so that's the spirit in which I'm doing this video. Now I had done another video on the pros and cons of being an adjunct professor and what I've learned on my own journey being an adjunct professor. If you haven't seen that video, you should watch that video after this video. I think you will enjoy it a lot. So in that video, I talked about the fact that I really do enjoy teaching. I gain a lot of fulfillment from it. So whether this was a highly paid job or Otherwise, I would still do it, to be honest. I really do enjoy being able to impact the lives of students. And what I'm about to share with you, the salary I'm about to share with you is not so I brag, and I don't think it's even bragging when I once I reveal the amount. Um, it's not to show you that I'm making all this money. It really is to be informative so that if you are looking for or looking forward to getting into an adjunct professor position, you will know what to expect. Um, in general terms. So just to give you some context, my PhD is in microbiology and immunology. And I teach um, a higher level class in the spring of 2021. I'm teaching a higher level biology class that is um, tailored to students that want to go to med school, dental school, pharmacy school. They're on the healthcare professions track. And so this class is specially geared towards those students. And I teach them with that in mind. And these students are very driven. They, um, most of them come in wanting to do the work so it it really does make it easy <laughs> um that you know you of course you're always going to have one or two students that are kind of like the stragglers but for the most part this is a highly motivated class and i'm always really excited to teach this class i teach this class on mondays and wednesdays mondays i do a lecture for two hours on um, Wednesdays I teach one hour of lecture and then I do three hours of lab. It's so weird because lab is supposed to be lab in a lab but we don't get to do it that way. We actually have to do lab remotely. Um, yes my college is still remote so I have also been teaching remotely um, since March of 20, uh, 2020. I've been teaching remotely. So the great thing about this is that I don't have to leave my house and drive somewhere to teach the college i teach at is around 30 minutes from where i live if i'm driving one way and um you know and back and so the whole total commute time is about 30 minutes one way and the other so altogether about one hour so in a, in, in, in a sense i'm saving a lot on gas and such uh, which is really really helpful this is the uh, this is the moment you've probably been waiting for so in March of 2021, which is the month that just passed because when April, um, I get paid once a month from my um, college job, from the adjunct professor job. And um, it's a salary, so it gets paid once a month. And for March of 2021, based on everything I just told you, I made $1,000. $337.87. Now, I know I have a lot of international viewers on this channel. And if you're watching this and you live in a place where style of living is, tends to be moderate to low, this may sound like, oh, that sounds like a lot of money. And if I only depended on this income, it would be woefully inadequate because first of all, I live in California, San Diego, California, and California is notorious for just having hyper inflated rent prices. $1,300 would do nothing. I would not be able to afford where I'm living right now if I was only depending on that $1,300. So it's worth noticing that being an adjunct professor is just one income stream. I do have a full-time job as a science writer, um, which I'm very, very grateful for. Um, but it's it's 
it's what it is it's it's around thirteen hundred dollars i'm getting paid this much for um my class that i teach six hours a week now i also want to note that we get paid on an hourly rate as adjuncts and this does not include the time we spend outside teaching so you get strictly paid for the six hours that you're teaching in class essentially they, 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 it's, it's way more complicated than that but essentially that's it you get paid for the hours you teach in class and so if i take this 1300 well 1337 right and i teach around six hours a week and i divide that by 24 hours a month it comes around 55 dollars and 74 cents per hour if i was only doing teaching if i include um the grading i have to do the preparation i have to do which ends up being a lot of hours the rate goes even lower so i i will say that being an adjunct professor really is an underpaid job um even though we tend to be um huge contributors to a lot of educational um higher education institutions here in the united states now i do know certain people that will teach multiple classes i have done that before where i was teaching like two three classes and it does add up so this is for just one class if you were doing multiple classes you can see how that could add up i know some people that don't um will teach at multiple colleges and so that that again adds up and so yes there are definitely there are definitely ways around it you don't have to teach one class you could be teaching multiple classes and that could increase your income or you could really just go for a full-time professor job um, and and then you know make income that way but as an adjunct professor teaching a higher level biology class this is what I get paid and I hope that I was able to help you in some way to find out how much adjuncts get paid if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you have any questions about becoming an adjunct professor leave them in the comments below I'll be happy to answer them